Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you the location of every shrine inside of the Korok Forest. Now, before you're able to do any of this, you will need to unlock the Korok Forest, which I will link a video in the description down below on how to unlock and save the Korok Forest. And the shrine is that we're doing first is the Musano Kir Shrine, which is going to be in the northern part of the map in the middle, right smack dab on top of the Korok Forest. Okay, so once you're in the shrine, you're going to walk up to this bridge. You're going to connect that ball to that square. Jump across. You're going to disconnect it. You're going to connect the square back to this ball. And you're going to swing it and hit that target. And it'll open the door for you. Then after that, you're going to bring the square to the edge. And then you're going to use that pole as a bridge to get to the chest. After you get the chest, you're going to disconnect that. You're going to put the stick at the front of that rectangle or square that's going to move. And then the cube, you're going to connect to the ball and you're going to swing it one time and it's going to hit the target and it's going to open the door. And that's the entire shrine. Okay, so the next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Pumpunk Shrine, which is in the Great Hyrule Forest to the east of the Korok Forest. Okay, so our starting point is going to be the Muzan no Kir Shrine. From here, you're going to head straight and then you're going to peel to the left until you see a happy tree. When you see that happy tree, you're going to go up the hill behind it. And once we leave the Karak Forest, we're going to see a green crystal. The Karak doesn't want to give you the green crystal until you give him five golden apples, which he says is at the end of the trail that you have to follow. So the first enemies you're going to end up running into are some fire bats very easy to take out one shot then you're going to run into two trees you're going to want to chop them down with either something you can cut with or just set them on fire those are the only ways you could take them out then you're going to face a couple of bone monsters after you take all three of them out you'll be chilling the next thing you're going to face is a worm on the wall that shoots electricity after you take that out he drops a chest and i think it's got a pretty decent bow inside if you want to grab it then, when you're about to go across the river, you're going to want to shoot this little guy that shoots you out of the mud. Then you're going to want to throw the fire flower down so that you can fly across the river. It makes it a little bit easier. After that, you're going to be facing this guy who skips around on the air. I forgot what they're called, but they're kind of annoying sometimes. But as long as you bow them a little bit, they'll be easy to take care of. Then all you got left are a little bit of fire choo-choos. And after that last fire choo-choo, you will be at the end where you find all of the golden apples. You just want to chop down the trees to make it easier for yourself if you want. And then all the golden apples are yours. And you're going to want to take the same route backwards to go back to the Korok so we can give you the green crystal. Okay, so once you are back, you can give him all the apples and then you're just going to want to examine the crystal and then carry that crystal over to the shrine super easy and that's basically the entire shrine after you do that you'll be able to go in and collect your rewards and that's the entire shrine guys okay so the next shrine we're going to be covering is the ninja shrine and our starting point to get there is going to be at the Musano Kir Shrine. Okay, so we're going to walk right past Hetsu and take a right. And then we're going to see a tunnel log. And we're going to talk to a Korok. The Korok is going to say he's seen a shrine before. And he likes to be able to see a sky island from it. And he knows humans can't go there. So he said, suggested that you go to a sky island and drop down from there. So you're going to want to fast travel to Typhlo Ruins. Okay, so once you've teleported to the tower, you need to shoot yourself up in the sky and you're going to see a bunch of sky islands. So you're eventually just going to want to land on the circular island in the back. And then after you land on that one, you're going to need to jump one more time to land on another island that's even lower. And it's super easy to get to. So once you land on this island, you got to jump down one more time. There's going to be one more island you're going to go down to. I try to dive down and be kind of quick with it. It's going to be just one by itself like this floating in the sky. Right after you reach this island, that's when you jump straight down and you're right above the shrine and you can fall right into it. 
after that you just walk in you collect your rewards and just like that you're good to go Okay, so the last shrine we're covering today is the Sakun Bomar Shrine, which is going to be northwest from the Korok Forest and the Musan Okir Shrine, which is where our starting point is going to be. Okay, so we're going to pass by Hetsu and go behind him, and then we're going to see a log, and we're going to talk to a Korok, and a Korok's going to tell you about a shrine that he saw that looks like the shrine that's in the middle of Korok Forest. You got to go down this path. It's very easy. You just got to fight a bunch of monsters but you could skip them like I'm doing here just to make the video quicker um so after you activate the shrine it's gonna tell you to connect and bring back the crystal to the shrine which is gonna be a stone Taurus that you're gonna have to fight so our objective is to get that green crystal right so as soon as you knock them down I'm gonna start spinning. Bang, bang, bang. And that's it. That's the entire thing. It's the whole fight. So after the Stone Taurus is defeated, grab the crystal, bring it all the way back to the shrine so that you can collect your awards. And that would be the entire shrine. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.